thank y'all so much for tuning in and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be finally showing you guys how I style my TWA. Um, yes, if you haven't been on my channel in a while or if you're new, I have Big Chop My Locks. I have a video of me explaining why Big Chop My Locks as well as showing you guys some of the footage of me big chopping so if you want to check that out i'll go on ahead and link that now um i know i'm looking a little familiar but i just completed my ultimate speed cleaning video of the kitchen so honestly i'm just be honest i just finished i need to shampoo my hair so i'm just gonna jump right on in if you haven't checked out that ultimate speed clean of my kitchen i'll link that above right now as well so the two products that i'm going to be featuring today um, this Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisturizing Dry Defense Shampoo. Really couldn't go into details on, you know, how I feel about this product. I have been using this since I big chop, and I have nothing but great things to say about it. I'll speak about this in another video, um, but today we're going to be shampooing and styling my TWA. Oh. And I don't know if you guys remember this from my locks. I remember I had picked this up at Walmart and I was skeptical on using it because it was a thicker leave-in conditioner. Remember I picked up that Allocate Naturals Gold leave-in spray conditioner and I absolutely love that. But I do have this product that I need to use. I've used this once since I big chopped and the smell is amazing. Right now I'm going to just jump right on into this shampoo and um, then we'll go into the styling. Okay. Before I get started, I want you guys to know this scarf has been on my head about three or four days. I have not taken it off to moisturize. I know y'all, I gotta get better with it, but I'm just simply out of the loop with taking care of my natural hair. So today, here on out, I will be doing a lot better. Um, I big chop for the second time on August the 29th, 2020. So it has been about six weeks now since I big job. So I'm just gonna jump right on into this shampoo and this condition and I'll probably speed it up, but I'll be right back with you guys so we can style it, okay? Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna sit right here with y'all while I put this, this leave in on. Um, I do not have any products other than what you see and the allocate leave in. I'm not gonna be a product junkie this time around, so um, when I'm done with this, I'll buy some more. Uh, I need to get a deep conditioner, so I will be picking up a deep conditioner, but that's it. Um, this right here is just a leave-in conditioner and I'm going to treat it <laughs> as a deep conditioner today because this is all that I have. So I am smothering my hair with this lovely, lovely leave-in conditioner and we are going to rinse this out y'all. And then I'm going to put a little bit more in, but I don't have any other products because you guys know I've had locks 
locks require minimum products which i love because when i first beat shop back in 2015 y'all i had every product there was from shea moisture to mane and tail to uh cancer to what else did i have i had all different ones of the shea but shea moisture that was my fave oh i did the bella curls Oof, i've done so many but like I said, I'm just gonna do one deep conditioner. I haven't decided yet on which one I'm going to do, but I will be a minimalist with the products this go around. I have this and also gonna put some oil in my hair and then put a plastic bag on for a little bit, um, add some of my oil. And if you are not familiar with my content, I did make an oil mixture video some time ago and I will link it above if you're interested in seeing what oils that I put in my hair. But I am going to improvise. I don't have a deep conditioner as of yet. So we are gonna make it do what it do. Like I said, my hair was super dry um, being tied up for so long. And so we're going to make this into a hot oil conditioner treatment. <laughs> I used to always do little weird stuff like this if I ran out of product. And it works for me. So we got all of that absorbed up and through here. And that is pretty much it for right now. I do not have a plastic cap. I usually don't even keep them, so we're not going to act like I usually have them. I usually take any plastic bag that I may have around the house, and that's what I'm going to do today. So it'll be a little fancy. I had a Best Buy bag, um, so it's clear. <laughs> so we're going to put this one on. And uh, do the little treatment and it did good so tell me that best buy bag didn't come through all right y'all so i'm gonna let this sit rinse this out and put a little leave-in conditioner on and then i'm going to show you guys how i style it if you guys have any other videos that you'd like to see from me about my hair, please drop it down in the comments. I will be more than glad to do so if it's something that I'm, you know, capable of doing. So we're going to go on and rinse this out. And I am rinsing with uh, warm, little, little very warm, like almost cool. I'm not going to do just cool because of the fact that I have the oil in my hair as well. So. Do warm and then I'm gonna cool it down towards the end. Sometimes realize there's nowhere to go. Y'all see me looking like a rooster. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more of the actual leave in conditioner. Just about that much, because I don't have a lot of hair, remember? Put it all on here, get it saturated. Y'all, it's so refreshing to be able to run a comb through my hair. I hadn't had a comb in my hair in almost a year. So, I'm just going through. And I promise I'm not being rough. It's just the sound of this cheap comb. Um, when I cut my hair, it was during the hurricane. And I just had to get what I could get. And it was a little cheap set. And um, I think it was Family Dollar. It came with this, the brush, and a little small brush like this. I will be purchasing a Denman brush. It gave me curl definition out of this world. But I just haven't got one. And I like the actual brand. Because I think I just threw it away when I got my locks. Unfortunately. So... This is what my hair is looking like. Six weeks, big chop. I'm gonna go ahead and get this styled. Um, basically, what I do is, I just put my leave-in oil in. I do the LOC method. A lot of people call it the lock method, but I'm not gonna call it the lock method because I don't wanna confuse you guys, considering I did have locks. So I'll just say the LOC method. So my hair is wet. 
I put the leave-in on. I have my oil mixture and I'm going to oil my scalp. And I know y'all probably like, that's just what you just did. But I used a, a deep conditioner. So. And I don't need much because my hair is feeling really moisturized. And now for the easy part. Y'all gonna be like, what? This is literally all I do, y'all. This is my OG. I'm sorry. I haven't found another gel that I like. I've been off the grid with the whole gel scene because, you know, I had my locks for 11 months. So... Um, this is what worked for me previously. Remember, this is my second big chop. My first big chop um, was in December of 2015 from relaxer to uh, natural. I didn't even do color back then when I first big chop. So this is what worked for me. If you have any suggestions on some gel, feel free to drop it down below. I'm not gonna become a product junkie, so I may buy it and I may not, I don't know. But I am welcoming all suggestions. And I just get a little bit of the Eco Styler Gel. And I like the green. I used to get the red container with the Argan Oil back in the day, but this is my OG. So this is what I went for when I purchased it, when I big chop. I had to go for what I know. By putting the oil on my hair, this does not make my hair crunchy, which I love. So if you're just putting it on dry hair, it's probably going to make your hair really hard. But we all have different hair and different hair textures, so to each his own. I have to put more on the top of my head because the top of my hair is very resistant to curl. It's a different pattern. Remember I told y'all with my locks, it locked the fastest up there. If it gives you an idea on the texture up there. But everything in my outer perimeter, you can see these curls are really juicy. These up here, not so much. That's why I need that Denman brush. It helps. I'm going to go back through with this brush while I have the gel on. This is my hair toothbrush, not a toothbrush that I use for my teeth. I know they have the little brushes that are made for it, but these do just fine for me. So, what helps me with this short Tita way is making a part. And you've done your walking, probably enough for two. Often you've had it rough, but you also had your comfort. Every time you come around, every time you return, you see it in your tired eyes. That you still have more to go. Okay, y'all, so that's pretty much it for the most part. Um, like I said, I'm kind of limited in the kitchen on how I can see everything that I'm getting. Thumbs up. Drop down in the comments if you would like to see more um, 
from me with my TWA. I'm not sure if you guys will like it or not. If you're new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe and uh, stay in touch with me. I also want to let you know that I do vlog. Vlogtober is going on, so this is probably going to be a part of Vlogtober. <laughs> going ahead and go it has been a pleasure i did enjoy making this for you guys so um i'll talk to you next time bye